Testing mic Swim. check. Cool off, sir. <laughs> all right, Vita's gonna come right out of the gates, all super hot. Okay, so we're gonna try something a little different today. Uh, some friends had been requesting some help with their newly attained mixed reality setups and stuff. So I figured I would go into a little bit, a little bit of detail. I'm not gonna try to cover everything today, but I'm gonna cover a little bit of what I go through with my live mixed reality calibration and setup pretty much before every single mixed realities. So for those of y'all just tuning in, yo, what up? This is Eddie here on the Fathabu channel, and today we're gonna do some mixed reality stuff. Hell yeah, welcome, welcome everyone. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, starting off right off the bat, I'm capturing my main monitor on my desktop. Uh, I got two monitors, this is the main one. I'm going to try to capture my live software. So I have nothing on right now other than the apps you see there. So we got OBS, Chatty, Streamlabs, a little bit of Discord, a little bit of Intro Fighters, Mod Assistant. Nothing really. We're, we're starting up pretty much from the beginning. My Vive software. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to fire this up. This is literally what I do every single time. You know what? I can leave my camera on for this. All right, so starting up my index controllers. I still haven't sent this one back yet. This is part of the reason why. I use it for my mixed reality calibration. Hopefully everybody can hear me okay. Right now we're on my C920 because my lib is going to take over on my C930 here in a minute. All right, so let's turn on some Steam VR. And you know what? We can put some jams on while we do this, huh? Let me know if the jams get too loud or if they're not loud enough. Go either way on that one, I guess. Okay. Uh, Domi says, I can see but can't hear. Dang it! Try taking your headphones out. <laughs> okay, okay, Ode can hear me, so it's just Domi's problem. Maybe switch to LTE. <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta communicate with her in sign language. Wi-Fi, take the wi take the Wi-Fi down, and just use the L L, but T and E. <laughs> oh, your shitty Wi-Fi. Ah, okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch Live. This is what I do. This is not going to be a super professional video. This is just casual between friends. This is how I do it. This is what I do. I'll go ahead and bring this over here. All right, we launch Live Compositor. We're gonna go ahead and take off my C920 right now. Okay, so this is what happens every single time. Every single time, no matter what you do to set up your camera, it's gonna look like garbage every single time. So, I go ahead and go to my camera settings. What is this? Uh, I go to edit. I come over here to camera, I go down to device settings, I come over to camera control, first I stop moving, and then I turn off focus, and then I click off exposure, and we drop that down to 6, turn off low light compensation, 5 is actually not horrible, this is okay. It's just, you can see a little bit of trail. It's not, there's like a slight dip in frames versus, check this out. This is at six exposure. It's a lot cleaner. You get like almost every single frame that the camera can show. I'm using a C930E today with a pretty crappy lit room, to be honest. 
All right, so that's what I'm gonna do for now. Go ahead and work on some key. Let's pick the threshold color for today. Let's go ahead and I like to scale around here to see what's just gonna grab the most. As you can see, my cursor's over here in the top corner. It looks like that's gonna grab the most. All right, things are looking super hot. It might be my filter, maybe. I need to turn the exposure down. Let's turn the exposure down. Oh no, don't do that. This is actually pretty good, to be honest. I might actually even be over thresholding. No, that's good. I don't, oh, we got a little bit of green right here, you can see. Okay. Bump that up just a little bit. I get really bad shadow over in that top corner and on that bottom corner. Uh, ugh, I don't like how that looks at all. Go ahead and try to dip this light onto me fully. And we're going to recalibrate the coloring. A little bit more sh uh, smoothness. Uh, now I'm being blinded by that light. I can't even tell. You guys let me know. One of my controllers turned off. That's how long I've been talking. Alright, that looks good. That looks okay. Alright. Good. Looking pretty bad down here at the legs, though. Alright, let's go ahead and adjust this color just a little bit. Oh, that's horrible. Alright, we might actually have to turn some camera settings down again. Now that I moved the light, I made it brighter in here. Alright, we might have to turn that down a little bit. And let's take some saturation off. We're way too saturated. Boom. Probably even take some sharpness down. Might help. Gain might actually help. Right now, I'm seeing what the camera settings will do to help the key. Dude, that made it too dark. That made it too wavy. Now we'll try it maxed out. Okay, let's try it. Now let's go back to the key. Ooh, that's horrible. That is horrible. Alright, let's work with a little bit less. Sometimes less is more. There we go. Alright, I feel like that's good enough. That's good enough for now, right? What do you guys think? Good enough? Good enough. It feels good enough. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and save that. Now I'm going to check on my calibration though. So before I even... I am going to do my begin calibration right now. But before I actually start calibrating, I just see how far off is my calibration from the last time. Sometimes it stays set up, even if it stays set up 
I'm still gonna redo it, but this is what I do every single time. Come to the center of my playstation. Hey! <laughs> my calibration is actually like still like pretty much 100% on. Huh. That's interesting. Move this over here. Yeah, I know my, my so I'm still gonna recalibrate just to show everybody how I do it how I get it to right here But uh, yeah, nah my calibration is like totally still 100% on from the last time So y'all are looking at the Fally Fallaboo Productions mixed reality studio. This is what it looks like The I there was like my kitchens over there. You can see a chair holding a desk lamp some cereals on the counter over here this is the couch that I'm always talking about it usually has laundry on it clean laundry but right now it's just got all my VR stuff and I'm actually I told Domi I was like the couch is still a mess but it's pretty much just all my VR stuff and I'm kind of proud of that so we're gonna go with it uh, sorry I haven't said much letting you do your thing hey no problem Ode I appreciate it dude thank you for the company Holmes all right so my calibration was still on but we're gonna go ahead and redo it anyway just for funsies. Let's see how I get it there. Hey, Cecilia, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, Cece. We're doing awesome. How are you doing? We're setting on my mixed reality today. I'm showing some welcome, friends welcome, how welcome. I do it. So I figured I would take the first part of the stream today and set up some mixed reality. So for this part, we're going to do some calibration. So for anybody curious about what's happening right now, in Mixed Reality, there's actually two cameras happening. There's my physical camera, which is up there, shining down on me. And then there's an in-game camera positioned in the exact same space. So my physical camera is capturing me, and it is putting me between the graphics of the game that's how that works so I'm gonna go ahead and do some calibration here got to put on the headset first that's what's recommended oh you know what where's my footstool we're missing my footstool hold on one second guys I'm not tall enough to ride this ride give me one second I need to get a footstool after I just strap up I thought I had everything for a real professional stream I'll be right back. I need a footstool. I'm not tall enough. Somebody took my footstool. Freaking, I don't know, nine feet in the air like mine is. Uh, you need a trusty footstool to get up there because I'm only five foot six. Short people problems. What's up? Who out there feels me? All right, let's go ahead and get this back on so I can calibrate my camera. Oh, it says, uh, that's still cool for a setup, finding ways to make it work. Absolutely, absolutely. Nice, CC, you're okay? Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, oh, it says you're shorter, bro. I feel the struggle. I feel the struggle. I'm five foot six, and, like, I constantly meet people that are younger than me that are taller than I will ever be. I'm so jelly. All right, so, you guys probably can't see it, but I'm getting the, what I like to do, so look, check it out. I'm gonna show you right here. I don't know if you saw what I was doing. I'm kind of trying to put the the center of my, my finger in the center of the trigger here, so that I know when I go to the camera, 
I put the center of my finger at the camera and I click the trigger. Okay, so that's that. Over here. Sorry if this is being blocked, I don't think it's. Center of my finger. Put it in the center of the little crosshairs there. Pull the trigger. Boom. Down over here. I'm kind of trying to point the controller at the camera as much as I can too, so that it gets like right in the center of the trigger. Boom. All right, and uh, as you can see, just if you do it like that, it's pretty much gonna be almost right on, almost. Depending on your angle of the, the really the, the thing that's not on right now, why it's not perfect, is my angle when I was doing on the camera, because it's so much higher than me, my angle is always a little bit off when I'm calibrating that part. So I come in here and I really just mess, first of all, I know my FOV is around 50. So I'll, I'll, we'll try it at 50.3. And on my rotation, I'll rotate it in a place using the pitch and the yaw. Clean, 100% on. How long did that take? Seconds? Like almost perfect. I'm like scrutinizing detail at this point. Boom. Right there. Perfect. I like all of that. Yeah, so that's mixed reality set up right. Go ahead and save that. And we're done. All right, so now we start setting up. That, that's the mixed reality calibration. We're gonna go ahead, new calibration was imported. Sweet, save that. So we took care of the key. We took care of the calibration. Let's go ahead. I know I'm already gonna need, for Beat Saber I use about 75 or, I use about 80. Oh, and you know what? I forgot. I said I was going to change something today. Give me one second. I said I was going to change something today. I feel like my spin mod was too slow. So I'm going to I'm going to speed it back up. Yeah, so hopefully I showed you guys how easy it can be to set up mixed reality and to get the calibration right, because that's pretty much it. That portion of the stream is done, y'all. I think, pretty much. All right, we're still showing a little bit of the calibration. So you guys can see now, this is the fruits of my labor. The whole beginning part of the stream, setting up my mixed reality, this is what I got for it. Hey, hey, Scotchbox VR, just subscribe. Welcome to Pelaboo's Most Wanted You. Thanks for the sub. How you doing? Welcome to the stream, homie. Hell yeah, two welcome, months welcome, in a row. Welcome. Hell to the yeah. Hopefully you're having a good day, Scotchbox. You totally just made mine a whole lot better. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, welcome, I was showing welcome, some welcome. friends how I set up my mixed reality. Ah, the key is still looking a little bit off in some places. Let's go ahead and fix that. Boom. All right, I feel like it's perfect. I feel like it's darn near perfect. We're gonna go ahead and save that. Okay, I think that concludes the beginning portion of the stream here. That's showing how I got everything to, it's pretty well calibrated. I'm pretty happy with it. It's good enough for a mixed reality stream. Just a little casual stream. What do you guys think? That's the end of the setup. Appreciate it.